Hello. One of our employees was cleaning out his basement and ran across some of his kids' old Legos. So we started thinking what we always do at NVE. How can we put sensors on it? To get wheel angle, we can use an AAT-003 angle sensor and a radial magnet. The sensor outputs follow the sine and cosine of the magnet angle. We can use an Arduino with a simple program to linearize the sensor outputs. For demonstration purposes, we'll connect a meter to an Arduino PWM analog output to show the angle. We attached a radial magnet to a wheel. It doesn't have to be very precise. There's an AAT angle sensor on this board. It's simpler to mount on the outside of the LEGO bracket, even though that gives us a significant air gap. Again, the position isn't critical because these sensors are very forgiving. This is pretty awesome. You can't do this with a Hall Effect sensor. Conventional rotation sensors might have one to four pulses per rotation. But even with the small wheels on this car, that could be several inches of error. But the sensor we're using has a precision better than a degree, about a 64th of an inch for this size wheel, which is awesome. The Arduino board is mounted on top above the engine. The Arduino program is only a few lines. We initialize PWM for the analog output, read the sensor outputs, calculate the angle using arctangent, and normalize the output for 5 volts full scale. Moving the car back and forth, the output goes between 0 and 5 volts for the 6.5 inch wheel circumference. <laughs> So we've shown why AAT sensors are awesome. Wide magnet air gaps for simple positioning. Large output signals and low output impedance for direct interface to microcontrollers like Arduinos. Absolute position sensing and small size. Click email or call us for more information or to order parts or demonstration kits.